March 28, Saturday of the fourth week of Lent A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John Some in the crowd who heard these words of Jesus said, This is truly the prophet. Others said, This is the Christ. But others said, The Christ will not come from Galilee, will he? Does not scripture say that the Christ will be David's family and come from Bethlehem, the village where David lived? So a division occurred in the crowd because of him. Some of them even wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. So the guards went to the chief priests and Pharisees who asked them, Why did you not bring him? The guards answered, Never before has anyone spoken like this one. So the Pharisees answered them, Have you also been deceived? Have any of the authorities or the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd, which does not know the law, is a curse. Nicodemus, one of their members who had come to him earlier, said to them, Does our law condemn a person before it hears him and finds out what he is doing? They answered and said to him, You are not from Galilee also, are you? Look and see that no prophet arises from Galilee. Then each went to his own house. The Gospel of the Lord a division occurred. The Gospel reveals a great variety of opinions as to the true identity of Jesus. Some hold that He is a prophet, others maintain He is the Christ. Some admire Jesus, others wish to have Him arrested. There are clear divisions in the crowd. The guards sent to arrest Jesus come back without Him. The reaction was one of the bewildered amazement as they listened to Jesus. The chief priests and Pharisees react with contempt, especially toward the ignorant crowd of common people, asserting that they do not know the law and therefore their opinion should be disregarded. Nicodemus questions if the proper procedure demanded by the law is being followed. He is rebuffed by the authorities. The issue of the identity of Jesus is not confined to his contemporaries. The same issue arises today and still causes division. As Jesus challenged his disciples with the question, Who do you say that I am? We, as Jesus' contemporary disciples, are asked to declare our faith. What answers do my words, attitudes, and deeds give to the question of Jesus' identity. <music>